everyone, this is Krupa from Color My Soul. This is just a quick video to show you how I clean my dotting tools using just nail polish remover and cotton wool pads. All I do is load my cotton pad with nail polish remover and gently wipe the tools. Sometimes there's quite a buildup of paint on the tools and if you just continue wiping, it will definitely come clean. Don't forget the edges as well. Oh, this is a really stubborn one. But if you just keep on... There we go. Just keep pressing on it and it will the paint will definitely come off. So depending on how how um much paint and how dirty the tools are, you can sometimes get through quite a few with just one cotton pad. There we go, as good as new. And once I've used one side, I actually just turn over to the other side. So I try to, once the cotton pad is freshly loaded with nail polish remover, I try to actually tackle the tools that have the most amount of paint on them because these are usually quite stubborn. But they do still come off pretty easily, so. Okay, so this tool is not cleaned up as yet and the cotton pad is quite used up on both sides. So I'm just going to load another cotton pad and continue. Sometimes I just hold it down for a second. So you get it pretty clean. You may not be able to get every single bit of paint off, but as long as the ball section is completely clean, because that's the part we are using as the tool. Okay, let's turn this over. So this works for all my acrylic tools and ball tools as well. Um, for the for the thinner stick tools, just be very gentle. There we go. Brand new. Okay, I'm gonna grab a new cotton pad. So these um, fine dot tools, uh, the nail stylus tools, 
they are not meant to be dipped into nail polish remover. I know I've heard a lot of people say they um, fill a glass and they leave the tool soaked overnight. Please don't do that because these tools do break when, when doing that. So again, just load up your cotton pad with a nice amount of nail polish remover. And if you just keep swirling the tool, you will get this off. So I've also deliberately um, dunked these tools into paint to show you that no matter how much paint you have on your tool, it is possible to get it completely, or well, almost completely clean. Um, but ideally, well, your, your tool shouldn't even be getting so dirty because um, only the ball section is supposed to be getting dipped into the paint. So be mindful of that when you're dotting uh, so that it's not necessary to even have to do this. Here we go. Almost as good as new as well. Clean. And that is how I keep my dotting tools clean. I just want to mention as well that this set of dotting tools I have for almost two years now from the Happy Dotting Company and they are still in perfect condition. Once I clean them, they look absolutely brand new and it just feels so good to dot with tools that are clean so um that's it for this video please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and it's been helpful thanks for watching mm -hmm.